Hello and welcome to Spotlight on Bensonville. My name is Evan Summers, the village manager for the village. And today we're going to be discussing the Bensonville Senior Services. And to join us, we have Village President Frank D. Simone and Public Works Director Joe Karachi. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. First question is for uh, President D. Simone. Um, when you got in, uh, one of the first directives that you sent down to me and to pass along to staff was um, make a focus on seniors and deliver the best possible services that we can possibly offer our seniors. So can you tell us a little bit about some of the initiatives that we've taken on? Yeah, well, we've, we've continued the initiatives that were in place, you know, like the, uh, the movie discounts at our movie theater and uh, our senior luncheon every month, which are great events for the seniors. But I also wanted to do a little bit more. I wanted to offer uh, a senior snow plowing program to help our seniors kind of get out there and clear snow um, in a timely manner for, so for their safety and, and they can get, our, get around a lot quicker. And also, we're, we just started off our senior grass cutting program where we kind of get out there and, and, and cut the seniors' lawns mm -hmm. as well. Good. So yeah, you've ab absolutely added a lot of programming options, which has kind of necessitated the need for a senior hotline so we can uh, address those. Do you want to give some information on the senior hotline, what it is, and how to reach us? We just recently started the senior hotline. I believe we uh, activated it last week or the week before. Uh, the senior hotline is going to be a, a source for seniors to give us a call. It's going to be manned to our ability. Everybody has the opp uh, opportunity to, to answer the phone calls, even myself when I'm up, up in the village hall. Um, that phone number is going to be 630-350-3426. And what that is is if anybody, if a senior has a question or a concern, a compliment, you can go ahead and give us a call at that number. Uh, if, it, if we do not answer that <laughs> number, leave us a message and we will definitely get back to you guys. Um, it's going to be, again, 630-350-3426 going to be manned as best as we can, if not leave us a message. Right, yeah. Uh, we just completed a week-long training with the staff upstairs on uh, the different resources and how to get people in touch with them, so it was a pretty rigorous training. I appreciate it, though. So uh, please, call us. We'd be happy to talk to you guys. Um, now, we offer a lot of programs for a, lot of, for a variety of ages and um, interests in town. But with a senior focus, do you want to get in a little bit deeper on why you pick senior grass cutting and snow plowing? Well, uh, I mean, I. The seniors, I, I believe, are our strong point in the village. Um, and anything that we can to help them and, and, and uh, us younger generation guys kind of show them the, the respect and, and, and do that they are, have earned um, is kind of very important to me. Um, and I see it's kind of a struggle to kind of get out there for myself when it's five, six, seven inches of snow to kind of clean snow. I just wanted to make it easier on them. And uh, if we have the ability to do it, well, I mean, I think that's that we need to do it. It takes a village for sure. So this question uh, will be for Joe. Joe, what's been the response for the uh, senior disabled grass cutting and snow plowing programs? Um, I think the response has been pretty good for a pilot program. Um, for the senior snow plowing program, we had 65 applicants that we served this past winter. Um, we only had three events that we actually responded to. It's been a, a pretty light mm -hmm. winter for us, but uh, 65 people. Yeah, knock on wood, always good. Um, 65 people for that. Uh, for our grass cutting program, we already have 63. We just started this program last week with our initial uh, first week of grass cutting. Um, and it's, it's a weekly service that we'll provide to them. And we anticipate we're still going to get some more people coming in as they start. So know. we have capacity to take on more residents? We do. And if, okay. and if we get to a point where we need to add another contractor, that's something that we, we can always do. It's a good problem to have. Yep. Um, how do they sign up for these services? My oh. apologies. So we did send out an application and a packet to all senior water bill holders. So that was our first step that we did this. Um, but you can also find that application and all the, all the documents on our village website, mm -hmm. or if they can feel free to come into Public Works and sign up right at our Public Works desk. That would be fine as well. And Senior Hotline will be able to connect you as well. So um, the discounts that we have for seniors, do you want to talk about some of the available discounts to make sure everyone's taking advantage of them? We have a wide variety of discounts. Uh, we offer a water discount. We offer a discount on the sewer services. Um, also, I know we're going into uh, contract talks with our, our uh, garbage, dispo uh, garbage removal programs, and we're making sure that the senior discount still stays with that new program, so they have a, a garbage uh, pickup discount. Also, our vehicle stickers now are, are $1 for two years. Right. So you get a two-year sticker, it only costs you a dollar. Um, I believe you know seniors are, are on a, a fixed income, a majority of them, and to make anything we can easier on their, on their pocketbooks, I, I think we should do. So before we go to a break, do you want to tell us one last time uh, the way that residents can access these senior services? You can call us at the Village on our Senior Services Hotline, 630-350-3426. Or if you're at the Village Hall, come by, step by, say hello, and uh, we can go ahead and help you out.
Well, thank you. We're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with you guys to get some more details about the senior services available to Bensonville residents. Aquatic Center is conveniently located in the Redmond Recreational Complex in Bensonville. The Water's Edge is home of Fenton High School and Wahoo swim teams, featuring an indoor eight lane lap pool and diving well. The Aquatic Center is available for private functions and parties. Learn to swim, stay in shape, or enjoy recreational swimming year round at the Water's Edge Aquatic Center. The Bensonville Community Library, serving a community of readers. Whether you're old or young, a lover of words, music, or computers, the library has something for you. Check out our new Kindles, toddler jams, story and movie nights, or a variety of other activities offered. For more information, call us at 630-766-4642, or check out our schedule on the web at benlib.org. The Bensonville Community Library, celebrating 50 years of library service. Connected is important, and at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening around town. Whether on your phone, desktop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website is your go-to community resource, so you'll stay connected at home, in the office, or on the go. Join us on social media. Visit the Bensonville homepage and click on the Facebook icon. This will take you to the Bensonville Facebook fan page. Once there, click the like button and add us to your newsfeed. To follow us on Twitter, visit the Bensonville homepage and click on the Twitter icon. This will take you to the Bensonville Twitter page. Once there, click the follow button and add us to your Twitter feed and receive regular community updates. For email and cell phone notifications, click on the Notify Me button. This will take you to the Notify Me dashboard. Add your email address and or cell phone number at the top of the page. Then select which service you would like to receive updates from. Click on the envelope icon for email alerts and on the phone icon for phone alerts. You can choose one, the other, or both. Tune into our public access cable shows and board meetings. Choose a current program from the multimedia tab down on the home page. Bensonville Community Television is also web streamed 24 hours a day. To pay your Bensonville utility bill online, just click on the Online Payments button, then follow the instructions provided on our Secure Payment site. If you have any problems, 
concerns, or questions to tell the village, please visit the Report a Concern Center. Through the YourGov application, you can explain your issue and track its progress from submission to completion. Issues submitted through YourGov are forwarded directly to the responsible department. Staying connected is important, and at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening around town. On your phone, desktop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website is your go-to community resource, so you'll stay connected wherever you are. Hello and welcome back to Spotlight on Bensonville. Today we're discussing senior services with President Frank D. Simone and Public Works Director Joe Caracci. Thanks for uh, staying with us, guys. Um, so this question is for Joe. We talked uh, in general about some of the services available to our seniors in town. Do you want to delve into some of the uh, minute details and re elig eligibility requirements? Sure. So the two programs that we're uh, performing over at Public Works right now are the Senior Grass Cutting Program and the Senior Snow Services Program. So for both of these programs, the eligibility requirements are the same. You need to be a senior 65 years or older or disabled. Um, you need to own your own home here in Bensonville. Um, and also you have to have a household income of less than $55,000. Uh, the last thing that we have in there too is that you really shouldn't have somebody in the house, a, a son or something like that, that's capable of doing these services just to take advantage of the services. Um, so those are really the eligibility requirements going into the two programs. Now the two programs, again, a little bit different as far as scope with the senior snow plowing program. Um, we will plow your driveway. Driveway, uh, we're subsidizing all of these costs. Uh, the village is subsidizing on uh, close to a 50-50 subs subsidy on all of them. Um, for a snow plow, plowing your driveway, it's $15 to the resident. If you want to add additional services like your sidewalk in front of your house or the pa a path from your front door to the street or to the driveway or a path to your alleyway, um, it'd be an additional $15 charge for each of those services. Um, the program worked very well for us this past winter. Um, again, we had 65 applicants. I believe all of them were happy. I haven't gotten any really bad comments on Good. that. Um, it is a pilot program, so we do have some tweaks we're, we're looking for for next year. Uh, the second program, the grass cutting program. So very similar in uh, subsidizing. Uh, you can get your grass cut, a simple cut of your grass for $7.50. And we have two additional add-ons you can do with that, and that is an edging of your hardscape, which is just basically a weed whipping of the uh, sidewalks, driveways, things of that nature. Uh, for $2.50 and you can choose to have the contractor bag all of your clippings and, and remove them for another $2.50. Um, in the basic program, we also include a spring cleanup, which is kind of nice. It's one of our little growing pains for this year is we started this program last week and there's a lot of work in a spring, spring cleanup. So that first week took us a little bit longer than we anticipated, um, but hopefully this program will continue. We have that first week spring cleanup. And then we also will bag and collect all your leaves uh, in the month of October as part of that basic program. Good. So um, I think it's a, a very robust program that uh, I, I think a lot of, of our senior residents and disabled residents will enjoy. Right, and like I said, we've got the capacity to take on more. Um, we'd love yes. to have more and more seniors join us in this program. Absolutely. Um, so before the break, you introduced the senior hotline president, Mr. Uh, DeSimone, and there's a lot of information Joe has put out. So can you give us the hours of operation when residents can call the senior hotline for further information? Yes, the senior hotline is going to be open Monday through Friday or regular business hours from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, if somebody does not answer, we are going to return your call within one business day, so just leave a message. But most importantly, if it's an emergency, please don't call the senior hotline. Dial 911 so we can get to the emergency right away. Right. It's very important. Uh, Joe, if someone's got a question regarding the senior hotline, do you prefer if they call Public Works or the Senior Hotline, or what do you? What's if the, the best way to go about it? If there's that? a question on the senior grass cutting or senior snow plowing, you can feel free to call Public Works first. We'll probably have the best answers for you. Mm -hmm. um, if, but you know, feel free if you don't feel comfortable, just leave it on the hotline. It, the message will get to Public Works, and we'll get you, get a call back to you. All right, and um, before we go, uh, wrap this up. What's the? Let's reiterate one more time. What's the best way to get a hold of the Senior Hotline? You got to dial 630-350-3426, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5. If somebody does not answer, please leave a message. We'll get back to you within one business day. If it is an emergency, though, please call 911. We can't say, state that enough. Absolutely. I want to thank both of you for being here and uh, wrapping up this episode of uh, Spotlight on Bensville regarding senior services. Thank you for joining us at home, and we hope to see you in the next, next episode.